Good day everyone, we are the Sidebanders, and for today, we'll be discussing the double sideband modulation process. Let's start the discussion by the overview of the general amplitude modulation. In amplitude modulation, alam naman natin na yung modulated wave consists of the carrier and two sidebands. Pero ano nga ba yung sideband and carrier na to? So when we say sideband, ito yung band of frequencies higher than or lower than the carrier frequency, and it carries information transmitted by the signal. When we say carrier signal naman, it is a high-frequency signal with no information itself, but it is used to carry or convey information. It also has certain phase, frequency, and amplitude. So before we proceed to the double sided band suppressed carrier, we now first recall the double sided band full carrier and why it become inefficient. So first of all, in DSB FC, the third or 66.67% of the total power is being wasted in carrier, which we all know that carrier conveys no real information, while only 33.13% of the total power is being consumed by the sidebands, which carries the real information. So because of this, the DSB FC becomes an efficient and therefore wasteful method of communication. So to overcome this problem, we need to suppress the carrier and leave only the two sidebands that contains information. Since the carrier does not provide any useful information, there is no reason why there is need to be transferred. That's why we need to suppress the carrier. This figure shows a frequency representation of a double sideband full carrier. Meron tayo dito ang carrier and dalawang sideband, which is the lower sideband and the upper sideband. Sa double sideband suppressed carrier naman, from the word itself, sinusuppress natin yung carrier. Meaning, only the sidebands are transmitted and yung carrier hindi. Kasi nga, sinusuppress natin siya. Pero bakit? Kasi yung carrier sa double sideband full carrier nagko-consume ng a lot of power kahit na it carries no information. So yung power na nagko-consume niya goes to waste. But in double sideband suppressed carrier, sinusuppress natin yung carrier na to to reduce the power waste, giving it a 50% of efficiency. DSBSC output waveform. In this slide, we have four images. A is for the carrier signal. B is for the modulating signal. C is the signal coming from the primary. And D is the output waveform. The indication of the SBSC signal is the first reversal between the two envelopes. Next is the mathematical expression of the SBSC. S of T is equal to A sub M times A sub C times cosine times cosine 2 pi F sub M times T. Multiply to cosine 2 pi F sub C times T. Next is the bandwidth of the SBSC waveform. The bandwidth is equal to 2 multiply to F sub M. Power calculation of the SBSC waveform. P of T or total power is equal to A sub C square multiply to A sub M square all over 4R. So after hearing the formulas for the SBSC, let's now have our sample problem. So the message signal is having a peak amplitude of 5 volts with a frequency of 6 kilohertz, which modulates the carrier signal having a peak amplitude of 5 volts with 15 kilohertz frequency. Calculate the total power delivered by the SBC wave to the 20 ohm load resistor and calculate the bandwidth. So for letter A, let's use the formula for the total power which is equals to carrier amplitude squared times the message signal amplitude squared over 4 times the given resistor. Let's input our data. Our equation now is equals to 5 volts squared times 5 volts squared over 4 times 20 ohm. So our total power here for letter A is equals to 7.81 watts. And for the letter B, our equation for the letter B is equals to 2 times message signal frequency. So let's input our data. Our equation now is equal to 2 times 6 kilohertz. So press the equal button and our bandwidth now is equal to 12,000 hertz. The following two modulators generate DSBSC wave. First is a balance modulator. It is a circuit that produces DSBSC signals. It's a it suppresses the radio frequency carrier, thus leaving the sum and difference frequencies at the output. The output waveform lacks the carrier but still contains all the information a traditional AM signal has. This results in power saving during signal transmission. Ring modulator. The name derives from the fact that the analog circuit of diode originally used to implement this technique takes the shape of a ring, a diode ring. The operation of the ring modulator is explained with assumption that the diodes act as perfect switches and that they are switched on and off by RF carrier signal. Double sideband suppressed carrier or DSBSC demodulators. First is the coherent detector. The message signal can be extracted from DSBSC wave by multiplying it with a carrier having the same frequency and the phase of the carrier used in DSBSC modulation. Second is the Costas detector. Costas loop consists of two product modulators with common input ST, which is DSBSC wave. That's all. Thank you.